परमार वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ डिजिटल फंडामेंटल्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस लेच सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लेच लेच इज अ बेसिकली अ मेमोरी एलिमेंट इन व्हिच अ प्रेजेंट आउटपुट डिपेंड्स ऑन प्रेजेंट इनपुट एज वेल एज पास्ट इनपुट एंड आउटपुट कंडीशंस ओके दिस लेच इज अ बेसिकली अ मेमोरी एलिमेंट which is used to store one bit data using one latch we can store either one or zero so this latch is a memory element which is used to store our data and in this latch uh, this present output depends on a uh, present input as well as past input and output conditions basically latch is known as unclocked flip flop in latch uh we have a only input uh, and past output conditions which can be used as a input conditions there are no any clock signals uh, provided so in this latch this latch is known as unclock flip flop we have a basic block diagram of this latch in latch we have a, a external input conditions and we have a output and this output is again a uh, past output is again provided uh, for the uh, input conditions okay so here we have a present input and past output uh, which can be provided using a pre uh, past input conditions so here we have a this is a normal present input and past uh, output conditions and using this we have a, a next output okay so this latch is basically work like that here no any clock signals is provided so let's discuss about various kind of latch first we have a sr latch sr latch is a basically simplest type of latch using this sr latch we can store one bit data this sr latch is basically constructed using a two cross coupled nand gate or using two cross coupled nor gate this nand and nor gates are basically universal gates that's why using two cross coupled nand or nor gate we can uh, implement this sr latch in sr latch we have a uh, two inputs known as a s and r and we have a uh, two output q and q dash here we have a uh, normal output and its complemented output so we have a two inputs s and r and we have a two output q and q dash now as we implement this sr latch using either two cross coupled nand gates or using two cross coupled nor gates so this uh, Uh, implementation of sr latch using two nor gate is basically active high sr latch and sr latch using two nand gate is basically active low uh, sr latch okay so here active high that means this circuits or we have a output according to this uh, logic one active low that means we have a output according to logic zero so here this sr latch can be constructed using either two cross coupled nand gates or using two cross coupled nor gate if we implement sr latch using this nor gate so we have a active high sr latch and if we have a this uh, sr latch implemented using nand gate then it it is basically a active low sr latch now let's discuss about a basic block diagram of this sr latch this sr latch is basically known or uh, known as s and r ba basically from its input s stands for set r stand for reset so basically this is a set reset latch that means sr latch here we have a basic block diagram of this sr latch we have a two input s and r s stand for set r stand for reset and we have a two output q and q dash we have here normal output and its complemented output okay now let's discuss a logical diagram of this sr latch here first we discuss about active high sr latch that means a sr latch using two cross coupled nor gate here we have a 
two NOR gates and we have a two input that is R and S and here passed output that is Q and Q dash again used as inputs and we have a, our output Q and Q dash. Here we have a input like this R, S and opposite side of R we have a Q and Q dash and this circuit works like this. Here we have a characteristic table of SR latch. This SR latch is basically work like this for NOR gate here whenever we have a S and R is equal to 0, 0. So whenever we have a S and R is equal to 0, 0, we have a output is equal to no change. That means whatever the previous output is again forwarded to the next output. So we have a present output and next output will be equal whenever S and R both are 0, 0. So whenever S and R is equal to 0, 0, we have a, a no change conditions that means past output is equal to present or says present output is equal to future or says if we have a qn as a past output so qn plus 1 will be equal to qn for s and r is equal to 0 0 then we have a next conditions in which s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 so whenever r is equal to 1 that means we have a reset condition so whenever s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 then here we have a reset that means we have a zero output reset that means we have a zero output so whenever r is equal to 1 we have a zero output and s this is a active high circuit that's why whenever R is equals to 1. So it works for R is equals to 1. So we have a reset conditions. Now next condition is S is equals to 1. R is equals to 0. So whenever S is equals to 1, we have a state of set. That means we have a output 1 because S is equals to 1. So here whenever S is equals to 1 and R is equals to 0, we have a output 1 as set conditions. And here the, this last fourth conditions for S and R is equal to 1, 1. We have a output uh, invalid because in this uh, if S and R is equal to 1 then this both Q and Q dash will be becomes uh, will try to become 0 at the same time which is practically impossible that Q and Q dash will be equal. Okay. So it is quite uh, unstable uh, make uh, our circuit unstable. That's why this S and R 1 1 condition is basically avoided. It is a uh, whenever S and R is equal to 1 1. So we have a invalid state. So this is a characteristic table of this circuit. So SR latch work like this whenever S and R equal to 0 0 then we have a no change condition when s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 so we have a reset conditions whenever r is equal to 1 reset that means output is equal to 0 whatever the previous output conditions is provided but whenever r is equal to 1 we have a zero output then whenever s is equal to 1 we have a one output so whenever s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 we have a set output and for s and r is equals to 1 1 we have a invalid state now let's discuss about truth table of this sr latch so here we have a truth table of sr latch in this sr latch we have a three input that is s r and past output so s r q and so we have a three input and as we have a three input we have a total eight possible combinations okay so here we have a s and r our normal two inputs and q and is our past outputs and these all are our inputs for our present conditions so uh, we have a total eight possible combinations now uh, see whenever s and r is equal to 0 0 and whatever the value of q1 is forwarded to the qn plus 1 so whenever s and r is equals to 0 0 qn and qn plus 1 will be equal that's why it is uh, known as a no change state so qn and qn plus 1 is equal equal to whenever s and r is equals to 0 0 so whenever we have a s and r 0 0 if qn is 0 so we have a qn plus 1 0 and if 
Qn is equal to 1. So Qn plus 1 is equal to 1. So it is known as a no change state. Now for S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 1, we have a reset condition. So output will be 0. So every time whenever S and R equal to 0, 1, that means whenever R is equal to 1, whatever the value of past output either 0 or 1, Qn plus 1 equal to 0 because R is equal to 1. So R is equal to 1. So we have a Qn plus 1 is equal to 0, 0. It is known as a reset state. Then we have a next 1, 0 condition that means S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0. So whenever S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0. So we have a output 1, 1. So whenever S is equal to 1, we have a set conditions. That means whatever the past output condition either 0 or 1, every time for S is equal to 1, we have a output 1. That means whenever S is equal to 1, we have a QN plus 1 is equal to 1. Now for 1, 1, that means uh, for S and R, 1, 1, we have an invalid state. So we represent this invalid state as a don't care condition. Now we can calculate the equation of Qn plus 1 using this truth table. So here we have a K map of this Qn plus 1. So we make this equations and using this K map we can make a group and we have a, this two groups and we have a characteristic equation of SR less that is QN plus 1 is equal to S plus R dash QN. So here as you see that our present output depends on present input as well as past output conditions. Okay, so this is a SR ledge which has a characteristic equation of this uh, QN plus 1 is equal to S plus R dash QN. Uh, this is a active high SR ledge. Now let's discuss this active low SR ledge. So here this uh, SR ledge is constructed using two cross coupled NAND gate. Here we have a uh, two inputs S and R and we have a output Q and Q dash. This is a active uh, low SR ledge. So here we have a characteristic table of SR ledge. Whenever S and R equal to 0, 0. So we have an invalid state because whenever S and R equal to 0, 0. This both Q and Q dash tries to reach uh, 1. So whenever S and R is equal to 0, 0. This both Q and Q dash equal to 1 which is practically impossible so our circuit becomes unstable so it must be avoided so here whenever s and r is equal to 0 we have an invalid state now we have a next s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 so whenever s is equal to 0 we have a set conditions because this is active low that means this circuits produce the output for logic 0 so whenever s is equal to 0 we have a output of a set conditions that means we have a output 1 then we have a next condition s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 so whenever we have a r is equal to 0 we have a reset conditions that means our output is equal to 0 for reset condition. So here uh, whenever S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0 we have a reset condition and for S and R equal to 1 1 we have a no change condition that means Qn and Qn plus 1 are equal or says our pre uh, present output and future output or says our past output or and present outputs are equal. So this is a characteristic table of SR ledge using NAND gates. Now here we have a truth table for this SR ledge. This is a active low SR ledge. So we have a, a again three input combinations and for three input combination we have a total eight possible values. So here we write all the eight possible values and according to that we have our output that is Qn plus 1. 
here this qn is our past output and this qn plus 1 is our present output so whatever the input conditions are given in terms of s r and q and we have a qn plus 1 outputs accordingly now whenever this s and r equal to 0 0 so in s and r equal to 0 0 we have a invalid state okay so this invalid state is represented using a don't care conditions now here we have a next s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 so whenever s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 whatever the condition of past output either 0 or 1 we have a output of qn plus 1 is equal to 1 1 so whenever s is equal to 0 we have a output 1 for s is equals to 1, we have a output 1. Then we have a next condition. s is equals to 1 and r is equals to 0. So whenever s is equals to 1 and r is equals to 0, we, ha we have a qn plus 1 is equals to 0. Whatever the uh, condition of past output, if r is equals to 0, then we have a qn plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this condition is known as a reset condition. So, whenever r is equal to 0, we have a reset condition. Then, we have a uh, last condition when s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1. So, for s and r is equal to 1, 1, we have a qn and qn plus 1 are equal. So, whatever the condition of qn is equal to qn plus 1. If qn is 0, so we have a qn plus 1 is equal to 0. And if qn is equal to 1, so we have a qn plus 1 is equal to 1. That's why it is known as a this no change state. So, so this is a truth table of SR ledge for uh, active low. Now here we have a characteristic equation of SR ledge. We can calculate characteristic equation of SR ledge using K map. Here we make a K map in terms of S, R, Q and, and we can make a group like this and we have a, this characteristic equation of SR ledge for active low condition. So we have a characteristic equation of SR ledge is basically QN plus 1 is equal to S dash R Q N. In previous we have a characteristic equation S plus R dash Q N. Here we have a characteristic equation S dash plus R Q N because this is a active low SR ledge. So, this is a characteristic equation of SRLS using uh, two cross-coupled NAND gates. Thank you.